Studying is a vital part of life for every student. We need to make sure we know all the material that we're learning, and it's the best way to ensure success. So we are getting some study skills today. Here at Columbus Academy, I'm with Carolyn O'Brien, who is a learning styles specialist. Carolyn, it's so good to sit down with you. Thank you. So the importance of learning proper study skills, first and foremost, why do we even need to know how to study? It's something that doesn't intrinsically just come. It, we have to kind of figure out well, what is it that helps me bring the material into my understanding. And that's why 11 years ago, Carolyn O'Brien started a class called Study Skills with a focus on kids in the sixth grade. The students are learning to think more critically. Um, and we're also looking ahead to the 7th and 8th grade years where students are going to be taking semester exams. We wanted to set the students up for success. Many of them, she says, didn't seem prepared for the volume and complexity of the information they were digesting. They needed an extra hand, a middleman, so to speak, that could help them learn to learn. Yes, how are you? What kinds of things do you address? I address, um, the students come in and they have a goal of, I want to get all A's. And I kind of examine that a little bit with them and say, okay, so what do you suppose you would need to do? What does it mean to get an A? What is it that you're going to change about your habits? So where does someone begin? Carolyn says the most important thing to do for any student in any grade is to get all the information they need into one place. Start with the organization of materials. Uh, my own children are guilty of this, putting a bunch of papers into a binder and then ransacking it, looking for that study guide. You know, establishing from the beginning of the year a binder system, an organization system, and having that ready to go so that there's organization from the start. After that, finding a study method that works for them is vital. In study skills, Carolyn gives her students options. I present many lessons on different ways to approach learning, critical reading, um, using a very structured approach, for example. And my challenge to the students is try this. It may not necessarily be something that works well for you, but I ask that you try it, keep an open mind, and if it doesn't work for you, fine, maybe the next thing will. She says some students use flashcards to study. Others are better at direct recall or memorizing. Then there are students who are more visual or more auditory learners. Some find a group setting more helpful, while others prefer one-on-one. -on -one. And then once they have been exposed to different strategies on how to organize information, how to outline, um, how to effectively read a passage uh, with a critical eye, they find that it's actually coming better to them and they're understanding it more readily. And simply put, that's the goal, to digest, understand, and recall the information at hand. Carolyn says every single student walks away from her class with a better understanding of how they learn. We wanted to give them the opportunity to learn how to effectively read, how to study in a way that made sense for their learning profile, and how they could feel more confident and less stressed. Two things I think any middle schooler could get used to. And if you're interested in learning more about Columbus Academy, they do have an admissions open house coming up. It's Sunday, November 20th from 2 to 4. You can tour the campus, meet current students, parents, have in-depth discussions even with teachers and coaches. It's a chance to get all your questions answered. All you have to do is RSVP to 614-509-2220.